Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 26.2. Now this update is coming out really soon to the public as we're currently on the RC version. And as you know, this is the last release to the devs and public testers before Apple moves on and releases iOS 26.2 to the public. Now this is an amazing update, performance is great, battery life is also really good and we have a bunch of new features and changes that are actually very cool and a lot of them actually very very useful so in today's video we're taking a look at this update and i will show you guys a few different things that i believe you must know and do before you try to update your device to the new ios 26.2 now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. Now, the first thing we're talking about here is the release date. Of course, we got to know the release date. And in my opinion, December the 8th will be the day that Apple releases iOS 26.2 to the public. If not the 8th, then it will be the 9th, but 99% it will be the 8th of December, the day that we get this new update. And of course, it will be released at its usual time around 10 a.m. Pacific time, even though lately Apple has been actually like playing around with the release time, but this is a big release, so I hope they keep their schedule as it should be and release it at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Next up, let's talk about updating because we have two different scenarios here when it comes to updating your device to the new iOS 26.2. So let's just go ahead and talk about it. So let's head on to the update section. Now, as you can see right here, my device says that it's on iOS 26.2 and it's up to date. And like this, it will stay like this even when iOS 26.2 gets out to the public. That's because I have installed the RC version. And that is, of course, the last release to the devs and public testers before Apple releases this to the public. And we have the same exact update as the one that will be released to the public. So what you need to know is that you don't actually need to wait for the public release. I know a lot of people will want to do that. They think it's maybe like a better update or something like that, but it's not. It's the exact same one with the same build number. And if there is a change on the public release, if it's a different build number, they will also get an RC2 because that will be then the last update but most likely this will be the last one so go ahead and update to the rc if you're currently on any of the betas of ios 26.2 you don't actually need to wait for the public release because you already have that update on your device with the rc version but of course again there will be people that don't want to install the rc they want the public release in that case if you didn't install the rc already and you're on any of the betas, beta 3 or maybe even beta 2, and you want to wait for the public release, then you can do it. Just go ahead and go, come to this section right here, go under the beta updates, and make sure you have turned off the beta updates right here. That way it will remove the RC from this page. And once the public release is out, then of course it will show it right here on the screen, and you can just go ahead and update your device to the new iOS 26.2. Now, another thing you need to know before trying to update your device to the new iOS 26.2 is that you need quite a lot of storage. Now, as you can see right here, this update, the release candidate, came at my device right here at 8.3 gigabytes. Now, always it will be different on different devices, but I'm telling you it will probably be quite big. Now, when iOS will be installed from a beta to the RC, of course, it will reinstall completely the software because it removes it from the beta, but it will be some like this, most likely a few gigs less, but probably, again, it will be quite huge. So what you need to do is make sure that you have enough storage on your device because you will probably need at least 10 gigabytes of free storage in order to update your device. Now, what you need to do is head on to your settings And just right here under the iPhone storage, which of course can be found under the general settings, make sure that you have enough free storage. If you don't, then you will see right here a few recommendations that will help you 
just like free up storage on your iPhone. And what you can also do if you don't want to delete any photos of or videos, of course, you don't want to do that. Then you can just go ahead and check your apps that you have right here and see which app is taking most space on your device. In this case, if I go to Snapchat, you can see the app itself will be 300 megabytes, but we have almost 12 gigabytes of storage right here, documents and data that this app has saved on my device. In this case, I can go ahead and just delete the app, have the free storage, update my device, and then I can go ahead and reinstall the app back again on my device. Of course, that storage will pile up in the future, but in the meantime, I will have some free storage and of course, uh, go ahead and update my device to the new iOS 26.2. Now, if you're just planning to update right away once, you're, uh, once iOS 26.2 is out, make sure that you also have over 50% battery charge on your iPhone. That way you can just go ahead and just jump on it once it's released. Again, most likely it will be December 8th around 10 a.m. Pacific time. Now, another thing you wanna make sure you do is back up your device. Now, updating an iOS device should be really smooth and actually quite fast and probably nothing will go wrong. I have updated my devices a lot of times, never had a problem with them, but just in case something might go wrong, you need to have a backup of your data. You can do that a few different ways, of course, to a computer or just back up to iCloud if you have enough storage. Just go to your settings right here under iCloud backup. Make sure you have backup this iPhone turned on. That way you have all of your data ba backed up. And in the rare case where something might go wrong, then of course you will have everything saved. And last but not least, let's talk about whether you should update or not to the new iOS 26.2. Well, in my opinion, you should. This is actually a great update. It brings a ton of new features and changes. You will get features like the new animations, which are really cool. You get the new liquid effect on the clock on your lock screen. There are a bunch of really useful features. For the Reminders app, we have a new Measure app, a ton of new features on the Podcast app and on the Game app. And again, as I said at the beginning, performance and battery are really good. That's why I think you should update to iOS 26.2. If you're on any of the betas, make sure you have the RC installed. If you're on iOS 26.1, make sure update once iOS 26.2 is out. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is iOS 26.2. It is coming out, as I said, really, really soon, most likely in a couple of days or like three days from now, we will have iOS 26.2 released to the public. Again, bringing a lot of new features and changes to iOS 26 and making it even better so that is it thank you guys for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful and of course subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys on the next one